All right, guys, we are over in New Philadelphia, Ohio today. Somebody sent me a picture of two ginormous bins of cheap DVDs over here at the Rural King. Cool thing about this for my retail aficionados, back in the day, this used to be a rinx. You can still kind of see where some of the letters were up on there. But yeah, this was a rinx. All right, let's go on in and see what we can find. Thank you, automatic door. <laughs> it's such a door. All right, here we go, guys. Look at this. Two ginormous bins of movies. Holy crap, this is going to be fun. And I got a cart just in case. All right, I think I'm going to single out the... Uh, wait a minute, here's Critters 2. Critters 2. Johnny Steele, we want the crates. That's pretty cool. If that was Critters 1, I would definitely buy it. But I don't know. I think I'm, what I'm going to do is kind of single out the... Uh, the Blu-rays, see what they have in that department. Son of God, a lot of these are ones that we were seeing at the dollar store for a dollar. Here's Taken 2, Lord of the Rings, Return of the King. I pulled my DVDs out last night of Lord of the Rings and I was just thinking, man, I want these all on Blu-ray. So I'm gonna set that aside and keep looking. Maybe if I find them all, I'll get them. Here's Krampus. I believe, and I could be wrong, but I believe that Spirit Halloween is releasing a Krampus animatronic this year. If they do, I am going to be so excited. Look at my hands shaking because I already get excited just talking about it. <laughs> All right, let's see. Winter's Tale. Huh. Never heard of that one. Based on the prices, and it's not horrible. But based on the prices, it's going to have to be stuff that I really want to pay five bucks a piece for them, even for the Blu-rays. Because uh, I can get them online for cheaper than this. Crazy Stupid Love. Let's see. What is this? Man on Fire and Out of Time. That's a double feature. I mean, that would be worth it, but I, I don't think I'm going to get it. Here's another Lord of the Rings. It's Return of the King, though. Let's keep looking. Looky here. Looney Tunes. Oh, back in action. <laughs> you know, Brendan Fraser. I love him, but I can't stand him. Like, I loved him in uh, George of the Jungle. He was hilarious, but I could never get into his attempt to be Indiana Jones. So... I don't know. All right, let's keep looking. Oh, sweet. Look at this, guys. We got good fellas. Oh, that's a hard one to turn down, but let's see. I'll put it aside for the moment. 2001 Space Odyssey. I wish they were three bucks. If they were three bucks, I'd probably be buying a whole bunch. This is a... Oh, America the Beautiful. I was going to say this is a steel case, but I thought it was a movie. Let's see. Rio 2. That's a sing-along. Oh my gosh, look here, guys. Hellraiser Revelations. Oh, sweet. We got Night at the Museum. Secret of the Tomb. This was probably my least favorite of the three. Let's keep on digging. 300. Uh, let's see. Sucker Punch. Yeah, a lot of these are ones that we saw at the Dollar Tree for a buck. Mirror, Mirror. Meet the Parents. Seen that a billion times. Hmm. Alright, let's look on the other side here too. Horrible Bosses. Uh, Gatsby. Edge of Seventeen, How to Be Single, Son of God, Jersey Boys, no thanks. Look at this, Police Academy. I loved these Police Academy movies when I was growing up. I think it's uh, Police Academy 2, if I'm not mistaken, that has Bobcat Goldthwait in it and the skateboarders. And I remember watching those skateboarding scenes and wanting to go skateboarding downtown. <laughs> okay. What is this? Otis? 
Never heard of that one. I like these guys though. Look at this. Daniel Stern with a chainsaw. How could you go wrong with that, man? <laughs> I'm gonna have to look that one up. Let's see, big miracle. Here's a steel case, hangover part two. Five bucks for a Blu-ray steel case. Steel cases go for a lot of money online, guys. Horrible Bosses, Blade 2. Never really got into the Blade movies. Prisoners. I think I saw this. Gotta love Jurassic Park. I think I have it on every uh, form of media, though. Hail Caesar. Run All Night, Magic Mike. There's Night of the Museum 1 and 2. If I didn't already have it, I'd buy that one right now. I love them. Hangover 2. Hey, Serpico. And Dog Day Afternoon. That's a double feature. That's a pretty good one. Hail Caesar. Nightcrawler on Blu-ray. Very tempted for that one, but I think I could get it cheaper online anyway. Horrible Bosses, The Purge. Hmm. Actually, I just looked this up, and $4.99 for this brand new is a pretty good price. You would pay, I mean, around that, plus shipping online. And with free shipping, I saw it for like six, seven bucks. So yeah, I mean, if I wanted to get this and walk out the door with it, it's only five bucks, and that would be a good deal. I don't think I'm gonna get it, but just saying. Jupiter Ascending, look at this, Point Break. Oh my God, Point Break on Blu-ray, yes. I am getting that one, definitely. Gotta love Point Break, man. Let's see, look at this, we got Ninja Turtles 2. Goodfellas, Tarzan, Hangover 3, what's this, Winter's Tale, How to Be Single, uh, what's this, A Quiet Place, man there's so many here, okay, Joy, what is this, Everything Everything, I don't think I've even heard of that one, Bruno, oh look we got 007 Octopussy, Let's see. There's there's Birdman on VHS. Kinda just want to stick with the Blu-rays for now though. Taken two. Is that America thing again? What's this? Ah, oh, there's Kick-Ass 2. Eh, Kick-Ass 2 wasn't very good. The first one was awesome, but not the second one. Let's see. Here's Vacation. I've never seen that. Beautiful Creatures. Dirty Dozen. Winter's Tale. Five Year. Blah, blah, blah. What else do we got here? Vacation. Land of the Dead. 10 Cloverfield Lane. This actually feels like it might have been repacked. Four ninety nine. Let's see, Pacific Rim in 3D. Ooh, I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's one of those lenticular covers that makes it look 3D. But again, you have to have a 3D player, 3D TV, 3D glasses, blah, blah, blah. The forest. And Blazing Saddles on Blu-ray. This one is hilarious. I already have it, but I would buy it if I didn't ride along Christmas Carol let's see one hour photo this was a pretty creepy uh, movie Robin Williams was like a uh, well he was a creeper let's just put it that way <laughs> he played it really good too All right, let's see Nightcrawler Prisoners uh, look we got Fred Claus on Blu-ray See, if these weren't five bucks, I'd be buying a lot more. I love this movie, Fred Claus. But I'm not going to pay five bucks for it right now. Judy Moody and the Not Bummer Summer. How cool am I for knowing what it was without even looking at the title? <laughs> That's the kind of thing I like. Kids movies that are, you know, about summer and stuff. 
Let's see, what do we got here? Game change, no thanks. Uh, hangover again, there's a lot of hangovers here. <laughs> Here's Fletch, $4.99. I could have got the double feature, Fletch and Fletch Lives for like seven bucks at the uh, Dollar General, I think it was the other day. Oh, here we go. Double feature of Grumpy Old Men. I already have it, but it, that's a hilarious movie. I like the first one better than the second. Fast and the Furious. Let's see. Man, they got so many here. Here's this movie, Epic. Ooh, and Alpha Dog. Alpha Dog is a great movie, man. I think I already have it, but that really is a good movie. Justin Timberlake is such a good actor. And there's Epic. I saw this at the Dollar Tree and I think I turned it down. Kind of wish I would have bought it, but I'm not going to pay five bucks for it. Muppets Most Wanted. Huh. Haven't seen that one. Here's some good ones. Troy, the director's cut. I don't think I've seen Alexander. War Dogs was a pretty good movie. Uh, what did I see? Chronicle. I think I bought Chronicle recently, but I don't remember. I'm going to have to go back through, but five bucks for the DVD now. I know, I'm putting a lot back just because they're five bucks, guys, but five bucks adds up. Kumba. Interstellar. Let's see what these are. Eh. Horrible Bosses, Mr. Popper's Penguins. What is this? Dennis the Menace Christmas, on a company of miners. Those might be good, but I'm not going to get them. Hangover, Ratchet and Clank, Chips. I haven't seen that one, but not really interested. Let's see. Hey, here's Ben Hur. This the one I've been wanting to see. Uh, yes, it is. But I don't think I'm going to get it. <laughs> Probably drive you guys crazy when I do that. Clash of the Titans Steelbook. Five bucks. It's the remake, though. I think I saw this in a theater in 3D. Let's see. What else do we got? Here's Pan. I don't know if that's good or not. Hugh Jackman is in it. Hmm. All right, let's see here. Anything good there? No. Pan. Three days to kill. All right. Let's see. Looney Tunes. Hangover. Lots of hangovers in here. This is where I leave you. Beautiful creatures. Um, yeah, it looks like we're getting into... A lot of repeats here, so I think we've pretty much seen most of them. Hey, there's the birds. Hitchcock would be proud. <laughs> Adam the Woo. Okay, Eddie the Eagle. I saw this one. I think I went to the theater to see it. Taron, Eg Taron Egerton and Hugh Jackman. It was pretty good. I mean, it wasn't like the greatest thing I'd ever seen in my life, but it was a pretty decent movie. Judy Moody. Beautiful Creatures. The Mummy. See, that's what I was talking about uh, with Brendan Fraser. I could not get into the Mummy movies. One of them was pretty funny. I think it was the first one with that guy that was like, cha cha boo boo <laughs> But I just could never get into him playing that character. Everybody liked to compare him to Indiana Jones, and he is no Indiana Jones. Let's see. Yeah, I think we've seen pretty much all of them, guys. Born Identity. Hmm. I'm going to dig through these for a few more minutes here. And here's Love Actually on Blu-ray. And it's like a pack that comes with a Christmas ornament. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to dig through these for a few minutes here. I already see the bottom. And if I find anything else awesome, I will uh, I'll let you know. Holy crap, guys, look at this. I know I'm probably going to hear a lot about this. It's just absolutely horrible, but look what they have here. Little baby chicks and ducks. 
Look at these. Oh my gosh. We used to go over to a place called Cassiola Feed and Supply. And we would get these and keep them as pets. Look at these little black ones. <laughs> Listen to them cheapen. That's hilarious. Yeah, look at these guys. Listen to them all cheapen. Hello, little cheapers. Hello, little friendly cheapers. I love you. Each and every one of you. Yes, you. And you. Uh-huh. And you, too. Oh, my gosh. That's so funny, guys. The little cheapers. Hello, little cheapers. Look at the one that has the stripe on his back. He's the leader. <laughs> okay. Well, they definitely had a ton of DVDs in there. But uh, I only bought the one. Um, the Blu-ray. What the heck was it? I can't even remember. <laughs> Oh, Point Break. Yeah, that's the only one I got. Um, I don't know. I find them for a lot better prices than five bucks a piece, especially DVDs. So that's pretty much why I held off, but I couldn't pass up on Point Break. So, all right, guys, Rural King out.